The years since World War II have seen many dramatic changes in the way we live our lives. Few changes, though, have affected our world as much as the advances which have been made in aviation. From the days when the DC-3 was the workhorse of the fleet, to the first jet aircraft, to the modern fly-by-wire aircraft of today, the reliability and safety of air travel and the air transport system itself have been increasing at a steady rate. Unfortunately, the increase in safety and reliability of modern air travel has tended to obscure one basic fact. The consequence of failure in the air is final. Corrosion-related structural failures have contributed to serious air disasters in the past, and this will continue in the future unless, unless you do your job identifying and removing corrosion on the aircraft placed in your care. This program, Corrosion One, Corrosion Control for Aircraft, was specifically produced to prevent corrosion-related failures. The best way to do this is to make sure that you, the mechanic, know how to recognize, treat, and prevent corrosion. A challenging open book test on this program is available from your local FAA Flight Standards District office. The 25 question test is on the material covered in this program. With a score of 70% or higher, you will receive a certificate of training from the FAA. If you don't pass the first time, try again. We want to issue you the certificate. In your role as an aircraft mechanic or inspector, you are responsible for recognizing, preventing, and controlling corrosion on your aircraft. This program is based on FAA Advisory Circular AC43-4A, Corrosion Control for Aircraft. You can get a free copy by writing the Superintendent of Documents, Washington, D.C. Keep it handy on the job and refer to it during inspections or when you encounter a particular problem with corrosion. Our program has four parts. Part one is an overview of corrosion basics. Part two looks at inspection requirements. Part three covers corrosion treatment. And part four discusses preventive maintenance and corrosion-prone areas. Now, let's get started. 